Hey everybody, it's Kevin Prue on the Tortoise Guy, and I'd like you to meet a couple of the regular cast here in Tortoise Land. This is Herman, beautiful, beautiful Herman Tortoise, and uh, that's why his name is Herman. He's about three and a half years old. Look at the beautiful, beautiful markings on that shell. This is Jimmy the Greek. Jimmy was born here. It's a girl. She's a girl. Born here about four months ago. Where was she born? Right here in Tortoise Land, okay? Tortoise Land is a pretty magical place. Just ask Max right here. Max is my 100 pound beast. And that's Bandit, one of my doggies. Hey Bandit, come here. Hi honey, all right? So Max is 105 pounds. He was about 50 pounds when he first came here. And there's a whole story about Max. And you're gonna find out a little bit about it on the video you're about to watch, you know? Ah, I want you to meet Rocky. Rocky has taken an interest. There's actually two green turtles now in tortoise lens. Rocky, wanna show them? So look, here's one. I'm not much of a turtle guy, but uh, turtles come and go. Actually, tortoises come and go. And I'm just learning about these red air sliders. And one thing I learned is they bite. Can you see that? They're a whole different animal, but that's a whole nother story, okay? And Rocky likes taking care of them, right, Rocky? Uh-huh, okay. Over here, come here, I wanna show you some of my other guys, okay? Right now, there's about three dozen tortoises of all different kinds, shapes, and sizes, right? They come to me through different means. Some people call me, they know about me, and I will adopt them. I'm always looking for good homes, safe homes to adopt them out to, so I'm not a zoo collector. Um, I do take care of tortoises. I love tortoises, everything about them. This is shy girl shy girl i called her that because she would never ever come out of her shell literally for years now she got to be five years old she's the daughter of max the 105 pound beast over there how about that okay so how did all this begin here well that's the video i want to show you and the video you're about to see okay take a look over here go take a look there's about eight or nine different species of tortoises here okay and uh, tortoises of all kinds shapes and sizes come here how did it all begin well watch right now on this video and it's gonna give you a little overview of what happens here in tortoise land <laughs> There are more than 300 tortoise species here on planet Earth, and they've been around for over 200 million years. While the mighty T-Rex evolved a measly 67 million years ago, and were wiped out with all the dinosaurs while the slow and steady tortoise kept on keeping on. But it wasn't nearly that long ago when I was seven years old back in Boston, Massachusetts, and I got George, my first tortoise. He was a box turtle and the coolest critter I ever met. Now, I'm all grown up, and I'm on a mission to help these guys out. My name's Kevin Fru, and I'm the Tortoise Guy. Go, Matt. Woo! These days, I live smack in the middle of sunny Los Angeles, on this street, in this house, where something truly unique has been under construction. Ready? Tortoise land! We're creating a tortoise sanctuary for these fascinating creatures that mankind is pushing to the edge of extinction. Good morning. Oh, Tracy. Hey, Max. I got some corn on the car for you today. Let's go. Come on. Right now, I'm caring for 37 tortoises. Hey, buddy of all kinds, shapes, and sizes. Oh, what? And each one has a unique story to tell. He somehow mutated, you know, when he was born. He was in an aquarium in about two inches of water. He's not a water turtle. I found Max in the restroom of a pet store. He was starving to death and he was eating a drywall. So I opened the door and he followed me all around the pet store. Everywhere I went, he went. And it was at that point that I fell in love and I'm like, these guys are way smart. 
They're not some cold-blooded reptile. Right, dude? Yeah. Kevin! Kevin! Kevin? Hi, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Oh, Suzanne. Got some food scraps for you. All right. For you, too. <laughs> it takes a lot of great humans to keep tortoise land afloat. Apples. Look so, at that. Very, very active. active. And I'm so lucky that they put up with everything I throw in front of them. It's warm time. Yeah. But the adventures go way beyond tortoise land. Whether it's in the heart of the city, see that? That's called mallow, all right? Mallow, we are gonna stop. We means Piper, Rocky, and Jack. I'll pick this stuff, I hand pick it, and the big thing about mallow, it is nutritious. The tortoises love it. Hey, Emmett. Come on out, buddy. Or maybe we're in Hollywood, rescuing a huge tortoise stranded on the roof of a foreclosed home. 137 pounds. He's the biggest tortoise going. He's going to a big ranch in Northern California, thanks to the help of our tortoise rescue friends. This is Lawrence. Dude, so look at this. Here's Emmett. Keep walking, bud. Come on, buddy. You don't know how cool you're going to have it, huh? Or maybe we're 3,000 miles away on the beaches of Maui, swimming with giant sea turtles. After all, sea turtles were once land tortoises that learned to adapt to the water. This is the first time in my life I'm seeing uh, adult sea turtles. So tell me, what is it about this beach? Like, why the sea turtles come here? I thought sea turtles only come ashore when they lay their eggs, right? Yeah, and most people think that they're actually here basking. So it's where they come to get in their energy so they can go back in the water and feed on the algae out there. See, we need people like you, yeah. smiling, exciting yeah. when they come here. How can you, you look, how can you not be excited to see them? The Emergency Veterinary Center is the one place I'm never excited to see. He's got a number of foreign bodies, so some rocks and one staple right there. Staple. But when a tortoise is in trouble, these doctors are the best in the world. And the raccoon shoot off her scutes here right on her plastron with a little bit of bone exposure you can see and cause an injury to her skin. That leg looks a little bit swollen, but he seems to be headed in a straight line today. We've had plenty of success stories. Okay, this is the heartbeat. My girl's gonna live. She's gonna live? She is. She's gonna live. Woo! And a whole lot of heartbreak. We have high hopes for the boy. He's been a tough guy. He's been here for 10 years. So I'm thankful to have him to be reminded again, life is short. Life is precious. And um, I know I did the best for him. Rest in peace, my man. Hi, Maxie. You guys want to come and meet Max? Yeah. Despite the setbacks, nothing makes my spirit soar more than seeing the absolute joy and wonder kids and adults feel when they behold a magnificent creature like Max. He's a big turtle. He's a good boy. Right? And just maybe, being up close and personal with these gentle and always hungry critters. Watch your fingers. He's not going to hurt you. Look at that. Oh! oh can help convince people that we all have to work together to save these guys and our planet. Okay. Oh, Lori, help me! Uh, One thing's for sure. Uh, you'll never be bored at Tortoise Lake. It's gross! And you can always count on a few surprises. <gasps> She's laying eggs. The reason I help out Kevin is because he really is truly dedicated. And that's what I find really remarkable, because there aren't many people that can have this passion and do something about it, and he really does. She's gonna make it, right, Di? Yes. We're doing it. Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm the tortoise guy. That's just some of the adventures that have happened here in Tortoise Land for the past 15 years, right, Di? Yep. She's my sidekick. You saw her on the video. So stay put right here. Hit subscribe, hit like, because we got so many more fun stories to tell you. On what show? On that show. Called what? <laughs> the Tortoise Guy!